my family first came to the U.S. fleeing the Holocaust, essentially before the Holocaust, and uh, it came from Eastern Europe. We have been here, I think, since the 20s, 30s in, in the United States. They, they came to Michigan first, and, uh, and uh, Elaine and I moved to Virginia Beach about 10 years ago, so we have a beachhead down here, just us. Uh, my family is a bit of a mishmash. We're mainly uh, German, Scottish, and came over through Ellis Island, and my family as well has lived in Michigan our whole lives. My Jewish identity has always been shaped by family. Um, it is the holidays that I remember. Uh, it is um, Passover Seder with my grandparents, Lou and Beverly Schulman. We had tables and extended tables for kids and uh, you know, so many people that we didn't even fit in one room. And those were the best times that I remember uh, because I was actually also able to bring the value, I guess, of, that my mom gave me with a Jewish education to the table to help our family celebrate the holidays. That wasn't something that everybody had, and I was very fortunate that my mom was able to give that. Uh, actually, Josh was my greatest influence. When we first started dating, I was raised Catholic, and, <laughs> and, and Josh obviously has been raised Jewish. We just spent a lot of time learning about each other's religions, and you know, I, I did a Judaism 101, Josh did Catholicism 101, and it was really when we moved down to Virginia Beach here that we really found our community, found uh, that we really enjoyed going to services on Friday night, and just felt very comfortable and very right. And uh, you know, with Josh's support and the community that we found in the temple, um, it really shaped my decision to convert to Judaism several years ago and you know, continue to establish that for our family. I would say the most significant thing to me about being Jewish is just the community and the family. Uh, for me, the most significant aspect of being Jewish is creating memories based in tradition because those are the ones that last. Uh, when I was at our Jewish day school, I had so much fun learning about our Jewish history, the language celebrating the holidays and, and being with family that those those are the things that have carried me through the years that I want to instill in my kids. Well, the principles that I guide myself in running our business and honestly and just being part of our family are honesty, empathy, kindness, and service. And in terms of being a donor, I think that's exactly what that is. That's philanthropy at, at its core is, is, you know, being giving of yourself, um, not just your treasure, but your time and your talent. Yeah, I, I completely agree with that. And really just um, making the decision to contribute. Uh, it's easy to get very busy in life and be in the whirlwind of what every day is and it's important to us to take the time to set aside and and make the conscious decision to donate and, and make an impact beyond ourselves. Uh, we chose to make a le legacy gift because someone asked us to and because it was a commitment plus an action and it was something that we could show tangibly we support the Jewish community in Hampton Roads. So we chose to make a legacy gift because, you know, kind of like Josh said, somebody asked us to, and it's important. You know, I don't know how many reminders people need in life that life is or can be short. You never know what's going to happen. So it makes us feel good and fulfilled that we've thought about this, we've thought about it in advance, and we've done it. We decided to give to Life and Legacy, specifically to Af Shalom Temple, because of just how welcoming a community that has been for the two of us, and how excited we are to bring up our girls, all three of them, Alana, Yara, and Rowan, 
into that community. And um, I, you know, I also recently took a position as chair of our education committee at Temple. And you know, what better way um, to preserve our sense of community than to instill those memories and sense of tradition into our kids. And that's what I hope it goes for. And just, yeah, the, the programs that are currently in place, that are going to be developed, that will be developed in the future. And, you know, just if there's any families ever in need as well, you know, just to support their um, needs and education and... Being included. Being included, yeah. yeah.